Hey everyone, welcome to the Healing House of Beauty channel. And today I am sharing a bit of my story, but then also we are almost in March. March will be here in a few days. I can already see the buds from the leaves that are coming. So that is exciting. Spring is my favorite season of the year. So I am here with a video because I want to talk about overcoming obstacles and living a fulfilling life and how that can really come to be when we overcome those obstacles. So the spring equinox is on us and it's a powerful time for growth. Okay, to me, that is actually the beginning of the year. So I just wanted to drop in and share a bit about that. So as someone who has grown up and moved through foster homes, and I say move through opposed to two because those weren't my destinations. They were a part of my journey. And there were so many things that I learned from that journey, okay? And I may choose to do another video about that. But today I wanna to focus on overcoming obstacles because that could be seen as an obstacle, right? But my experience going through those different foster homes fueled my desire to want to be autonomous. Autonomous, living a life on my own terms, right? Living a life that I desire to live. And going through so many different homes with many different families and going through many different types of experiences in each one of them showed me the benefit of being autonomous. And of course, my parents made decisions that ended me up in foster care. Not the easiest thing that I have gone through, but it was their decisions that led me into those homes and then it was the decisions that were made in those homes that really transformed my life but I am the type of person or have grown to be the type of person to look at the lessons that can become blessings and not look at what has happened in my life and say you know woe is me it is what did this happen for because I know that God has a plan and whether or not we like it, we are a part of this plan and we have gone through things, every single one of us, have gone through things in life, some to different degrees, but we have gone through things and they've happened regardless. So I prefer not to say, woe is me and look for the lesson. And so, like I said, one of those lessons is autonomy. Another one of those lessons is pursuing wellness. When I looked at my parents and then my grandparents and my lineage and all the things that have happened, it inspired me to pursue wellness. Not just for me, but for my ancestors. Not just for me and my ancestors, but for my children. Okay? and the people that I come in contact with. Um, my Angelou says that when you meet a person, believe who they are, right? You may experience something with a person and if they have not worked on their healing journey, then you will experience their untruth. You will experience who they are not. Who they are not are the obstacles or the challenges that are in their lives can affect the path and the journey that they're on. Our obstacles can be seen as boulders, blocks, cracks in the road, walls that are put up that limit us from moving forward in our path. And so these obstacles have to be removed in order to have a fulfilling life. These blocks have to be moved in order to have a fulfilling life and move forward. Early in my life, I made a decision that forgiveness was one of those things that I had to do if I was gonna move forward. And I made that decision to forgive. Everything is about decisions. And I made a decision also to go on my healing journey. And that healing journey took me on a path of going through multiple modalities, especially ancient traditional modalities, because I wanted to know what are the traditions and the modalities that can address 
root issues, not just systematic issues, but root issues, okay? Not just what's on the surface, but what is deep internally in, what are those modalities? And I share, and I will continue to share, many of those modalities that I have seen be extremely beneficial for addressing root causes. Because a lot of what Western culture does is very symptomatic. Let me treat this small thing that's going on right now. And if you don't get to the root of, let's say, a tree, how do you treat the branches? How do you treat the leaves? How do you treat the trunk? I'm looking at the tree in front of my home and it just makes me think because it's been here for a very long time. But it stands and it is grounded because its roots are strong. So I wanted to just share a few things today that can help us as we move through this spring season. One of the things that I talk about all the time in the winter season is contemplation. It is so important to contemplate and to reflect on the things that we go through so that we can be very clear and acknowledge where we are and where we want to go. So increased self-reflection increases awareness, all right? And that awareness is the first step to overcoming obstacles. Knowing that there's a wall in my way. There are blocks in my way. And those blocks are keeping me, stopping me from my path and my journey, okay? That is very important when you acknowledge that there's a block. And I think that we all can benefit from understanding and being truthful about those blocks in our lives. Which then brings me to number two, which is very much connected, identifying limiting beliefs. Where are those beliefs? Where did they come from? What you completely believe right now, even the smallest thing that you believe right now, where did it come from? And how can you move it how can you shift it how can you shift those beliefs especially if they are not empowering you on your journey so the next thing is utilizing the tools that are available to you the beautiful thing is that it was going through learning as much as i could that it helped me and it still helps me to be able to discover and embrace myself and enhance my emotional well-being in all the levels of wellness because I know what tools are available and sometimes we just don't know that the tools are available or we might be a bit hesitant to different things but they're available okay what we need is available okay and so the next thing is to be able to connect with your inner self to understand that there is that deep level of yourself and if you are feeling like you want to grow in your life and that you've been stuck in the same place stagnant not being able to move forward and with your passions and your goals and your dreams then you have to take time to connect with your inner self and understand yourself and then have love and acceptance for yourself Gabar Mate, I believe that uh, that is the way to pronounce his name. He has written many, many books. He's a medical doctor and psychiatrist and has done great works. If you have not read any of his material, definitely do so. But he said, time does not heal wounds. Or he is one of the people who is noted with saying that. But it's been said over the course of time but he said time does not heal wounds it does take time to heal wounds but it is compassion for oneself and compassion from others that can actually help you to heal your wounds it is the intention and the self-compassion that can actually heal your wounds over time it's very active the process is very active versus passive just letting time go by okay and so i wanted to share this because this is a commitment a commitment to growth and we are getting ready to go into the season where winter is all about shedding and releasing those parts of yourself that you no longer want to bring with you moving forward and we are moving forward so 
It is time to remove the blocks and the obstacles. And that is extremely important to release the limiting beliefs, embrace self-reflection, and be compassionate to yourself, all right? So that is all for today's video. I wanna invite you to subscribe and there'll be a lot more to come, all right? Because this is a path of fulfillment and I want us all to win. So remember, you're created for more. Abundance, love, and peace are your birthrights. And thank you for joining. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace and love until next time.